This is the new series of camera straps from Falcam, and they use magnets. This is a Cinedy Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Hey guys, Grant Mailer Sheldon here from Cinedy.com. Welcome to NAB 2023. And look, this kind of, this, this tells the whole story. This, these are camera straps, they look cool, they're in gray, but I wanna know more. Taylor from Falcam, what do you have in front of us here? So we have the MagLink system. So we, the MagLink is built on magnets, of course. So these little, little contraptions right here, quick release, very easy to take out if you want, but very tough to take out when you don't want. Um, they'll come in three different sizes of straps. So I have the Pro on right now. You can see that. Boom. There is a Classic, which is awesome. I like the Classic, so if you need a sort of a quick release system or a quick action, this will slide a lot easier. And everything is gonna have cushion as well. And then there's a light. So the light- oh, Sorry, so the cushion is right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it gives a little bit. I love that. Yeah. Right. Yep, so gives a little bit. I've had this on for three days straight and I'm still standing up, right? You know? <laughs> well, so is there is there cushion in the leather strap yeah, itself? So oh, mm, I like how that feels. It's not just leather, right? For that strap, that's cool. No, no, so it will give you that kind of absorption. You won't cut into your skin or anything like that, um, especially with heavy cameras, heavy lenses. That's a really important thing. And if you want to keep it really light, you can do the light strap. And these are going to be coming out in special colors soon, so watch out for that. So right now, available in this kind of uh, this gray material it's right here. Gray, and it's going to be like a snow pattern, so a lighter pattern. So, but um, kind of more stealth right now. But we're kind of getting a lot fancier with the colors soon. Uh, so, please watch out for that. But yeah, I love this system. Um, I'm confident in the system. Everything is strong. Yeah, I mean, look, the confidence thing is really important to me when I have like a $5,000 medium format Fujifilm camera on my side. So you said this could lift a person. Can you give me an extreme amount of detail about how that's possible so that I feel, again, confident about this? So if you actually look at the, the system, there is a stop right here that is very simple but very effective. So you can really pull. Let's do a little demo. Yeah, let's stress test the heck out of this right now. So this is a very expensive camera, so you know I'm confident. So let's. Right. I'll be honest, I was like prepared for that happening and I was still terrified for like a second there. I, I was like, huh. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is probably my 20th time doing that this weekend. So but you really have to be intentional with releasing that. So. It's really just up. Yeah, so it's something you can't bump out of that mechanism. Exactly. And it's really nice because everything is kind of like a one hand situation. So I can just go in, boom, and it's easy. How cool. Okay, so three different sizes, same color, at, at least at this time. Right. And then in terms of pricing, I guess maybe starting at, at the Pro and then working our way down. So we're going to start off with the Pro. That's going to be $59.99. Um, then we go to $46.99 for the Classic. And then we go $29.99 for the light. And if you have like a, a strap that you just can't live without, just buy our mag links. This is gonna be $19.99. Not a big investment at all. And okay, you could adapt it to your own favorite strap at home without too much trouble. That's nice. Yep. Yep. So pretty easy to adapt to any strap. Um, and it'll be just as powerful, just as strong. So Okay, so you have three different sizes here. Do you recommend like particular mirrorless cameras to pair with straps or how do you kind of break these down? Weight limits, are they all kind of the same? So they're all kind of the same with the weight limits. So the important thing is going to be like the mag link right here. You did mention your medium format Fuji camera. I'm also a shooter of the medium format Fuji system. I would recommend the Pro for that one, especially something that big. You're really going to want to have something that has a cushion and a big, a wide strap so it won't cut into you. Now, I have an A1 right here from Sony. So anything with this sort of style, this sort of body, I would go for a Pro or a Classic. So it's not too much weight. If I got like a 24 to 70 or something like that, or big G Master lens, I'll probably go for the Pro. Um, and if I want to really keep it really light, so I'm also like an X-T30, X-C4 shooter. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to do the light. Just keep it real. I call it vacation shooting. So you get put take it off, put it back on, hardly know it's there. Uh, I love that. This would be great for like a Sigma FP too, like the little the little guy down there. Okay, very, very cool. Thank you so much. You mentioned a couple of different colors coming soon. I mean, you already broke the news about the lens straps, but can you give us a hint about what colors might be on the? So with the light, there are gonna be like, it's a killer purple. I love it. It's almost like, it's like 
a mixture of a lavender um, that's going to be awesome and it's going to be a, a green as well and it's going to be a couple other colors i'm not too sure what they're working on so oh yeah. cool so i mean surprises, so. a couple surprises coming if you if you like the gray i like the gray i guess get these now if you want to hold out for some cool like is it forest green you're talking like <laughs> yeah so like kind of a forest green kind of like that old polaroid green which i love so yeah check those out well taylor thank you so much for showing me around these camera straps today i really appreciate it thank you all right stay tuned for more coverage here at neb 2023 but that's it for us at the falcam booth thanks guys